Fat ass and faggot lips. How do I? Yeah, my ass is pretty fat. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> How do I figure out what I want to do with my life? I'm getting to that age where I'm at a crossroads in life, but I don't have any idea what my passions are. Help. I think I'm going to read that last name, you fucking idiot. <laughs> take a left. At the crossroads, you always take a left, man. <clears throat> So, you know, one thing that I've noticed is in going through the questions that people submit, mm -hmm. there are a lot of these types of questions. Yeah. What do I do? What, you know, I'm being pressured to do this. I want to do this or. Yep. Can't we just. Like, just an answer it once. Yeah. <laughs> just play it. <laughs> if, if I think we've given this advice several times, haven't we? Yeah, and, and, and it doesn't change. Well, I mean, I guess it changes every time. But <laughs> right. in, in all my years of living mm -hmm. and all my years of working, the one thing I've realized is that I wish I wouldn't have put so much um, energy into my career yes. and spent more time trying to find happiness, whatever right. that was. Yeah, exactly. Find, uh, if, if you're asking me, I don't know if you're married, single, whatever, but find a person that you want to be with, that you love, and then worry about money second. <laughs> I mean, I understand that you have to have money to live and all that kind of bullshit, but don't put all of your uh, concentration. Don't go on chasing money. waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Just stick to the lakes and the rivers that you're used to. Right. So if you don't like fret about the things that you don't have, you'll be a lot better off. Just, just do what you want to do and, I don't, I don't fucking, I don't have any fucking advice. I fell into everything. I don't fucking know. So I know that there are going to be a lot of fat jokes in response to this next phrase. Right. But I'm going to say it anyway. Right. If I could do everything all over, I would have lived like in a tiny house, minimalist. I, I'm i still trying to, <laughs> I'm still trying to push my, my wife in that direction now. Like. Uh, I thought you were trying to struggle not to say a fat joke. Nope. Like it's going to have to be a real big tiny house. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. I, I was agreeing with you. I, the, it, all the things that you have, like it just weighs you down always. It, everything. Just you, the more shit you accumulate, it just weighs you down. But me anyways, I don't know. So No, I, I think that they, there's, they've proven that, you know, like, so I have a, a relatively decent sized house. And each room is, is more filled with garbage than the next. Mm -hmm. And it's all just stuff that weighs on you. Even if right. you take all this stuff and put it in storage, yeah, it's still taking up space. Right. Like you, you have to think about your stuff that's in storage. There's brain power being wasted on that. Right. You have to think about when that bill's due or whatever. Exactly. I, I watched this video. It was some fucking dirty ass redneck piece of shit. <laughs> Dirt ball living in a trailer in the woods. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It looked fucking awesome. Like he's totally off grid. He's got a little, uh, not a little, it's a relatively new camper. Yeah. Uh, solar power. He, he talks through how to put up his own internet connection. So he still stays connected to everything. It's not oh, like wow. he's just sure. Like I want that. I want to live yeah. out in the woods with nobody around. Right. And then just record the show and then go back so, to living in the woods. <laughs> so once my, uh, once my kids are old enough to move out on their own, I'm pretty sure that me and my wife are going to end up just buying a camper or van or something and just doing that, just living with almost nothing. Cause that's, that's how I want to live in. That's how I, that's how I want to live now, but I'm responsible for two kids. So I can't, I can't really do that. You know what I mean? But don't you think you'd be setting them up for success if you did that? Because right, your kids are no different than any other kids. When's the last time your kid asked you for something way out of the, scope of being a necessity like a computer or a game oh, all the time right so had you started off by teaching them fiscal responsibility and not needing to have possession possessions don't equal happiness sure like wouldn't they have come wouldn't they have been better better off yeah absolutely I, so you I failed as so. a parent, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. I, I'm continuously failing as a parent every <laughs> single day. What are you talking about? I got out of bed. Yep, failing. <laughs> so uh, 
I don't know because I haven't quite convinced myself that I'm that I'm right about it. Right. So what if I'm wrong? What if like depriving them of all of these things will make them less happy and I'm just an asshole. Like, and I, I just want to be off the grid, right? Then I'm just being an asshole, right? I don't know which one of those things is right. <clears throat> like maybe the status quo is okay. It, it's not, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the fucking answer is. Go in your, right now, grab your camera, go in there and take everything from them. Tell them they're just, you're now everything. living minimal. <laughs> We're living minimal now. No, no, only them. <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah, all your shit is my shit now. <laughs> I'm going to teach them the importance of guns right now. <laughs> all your shit is my shit. 